eighth frame. Big double, big double for St. Anne, Missouri's Pete Weber. 31 year older with 21 titles. He is a Triple Crown winner. Defending champ. This is the shot that Weber wants. He's on the icy lane surface of the left-hand lane. Gives him a little room left of his target, of margin. He can't throw it too far right. This is to open a commanding lead. Demonstrative, Pete. See Weber just sawing all over that ball. Head pin's going to do most of the damage. Oh, a big double for Marshall Holman. Next week we head to Akron for our season's grand finale. It's the most coveted title on the tour and the third jewel in bowling's triple crown. The General Tire Tournament of Champions, live next Saturday at 3, 2 Central, right here on ABC. Marshall Holman can still win this match. He must strike on the next two balls, and we that would force Weber to mark. Today is $43,000 for the winner of uh, the next game coming up. Next week, it's 65000 Marshall contemplating the score. He knows he has a chance. Take your time. Anything can happen. This is the sport of bowling. Don't take it for granted that Weber will mark. Stranger things have happened, but he must throw this strike. Pitch soft. Holman, a pretty solid game. He left the 2-4 in the first frame, threw a double, left the wall shot 7. One errant shot in the fifth. After that, other than this shot, it's bowled very well today. Good. Look at that. Converting the split. I think it's an everyday affair. What a great champion. Accuracy, mm. as we said, 95% of the game, and Holman is perfect on that spare. Weber just needs five balls. The winner... Marshall Holman, one of a kind. Pete Weber, soon to become one of a kind. Two demonstrative players. Pete now has a chance to break that 21 title uh, tie that they each share. And uh, it's going to be a tough opponent and a non-winner named Mike Edwards of Oklahoma City. Let's give Holman credit. He acquitted himself well. He's back, and he'll be a contender from now on. 108 television appearance for Marshall Holman. 108. Formidable a foe in Pete Weber, who's going to roll out a 250 game. Pete has, is in his 68th television appearance. Kim Weber. the semifinal game is this ABC Sports presentation. Talented Pete Weber, St. Anne, Missouri, has won three games. In the first against Kelly Kaufman, in the second against Amleto Monticelli, and then against the legend Marshall Holman, where Pete had nine strikes, 256 to 210. So it's the championship match now coming up, and it'll be Pete Weber going against Mike Edwards, who's looking for his first championship. And all season long, we were looking for funny videos, amazing bits. So uh, this being our last opportunity, we have one today that I think you'll enjoy. Comes from Alton, Illinois, and a man named Scott Watson. Rolled an amazing 214 game, throwing every shot between his legs. He went to this style in memory, he says, of his late friend, Dale. Okay. Thank you for sending in your videos throughout the year. May try it again in 1995. Now trying their very hardest will be two great bowlers, and I'm talking about Mike Edwards 
just the best at earning the money and yet to look, yet to get that first win, then, of course, uh, Pete Weber, 21 championships. So we're going to learn more up close and personal on Mike Edwards of Oklahoma. I'm almost half American Indian, um, uh, almost half Irish. I'm a little French, but I show most of my American Indian. I'm Cherokee and Choctaw on Creek. He was in an all-Indian uh, Boy Scout troop, and they learned all the skills of, of scouting and uh, the Indian way, the Indian way of survival and uh, outdoors and all that. And he's been exposed to uh, a lot of the Indian culture, where we tried to see that he did. And uh, we're just very, very proud of him, of his accomplishments. Equally proud of Mike's accomplishments is his wife, Meg, who travels with Mike on tour. Not many wives can go out and appreciate what their husbands do or know what they do. Like if you go to the office, you can bring home office stories, but most of them are horror stories. You know, in this way, I can appreciate what Mike does and he doesn't have to bring his work home. We can talk about it. And it's, it, we do a lot of sharing. And he's like my best friend out on the tour. And we spend a lot of time together. Mike Edwards holds the dubious distinction of having the highest career earnings total without winning a title. He's come close several times, including his first finals appearance in 1985. His five top five finishes in 1991 have proven that Mike is ready. The only question is, when? And I could win the next, the next tournament I bowl. Uh, I try to win every week. I try to win every tournament that I bowl. It's not like I'm going out there trying to finish second. I mean, I want to win. I mean, I'm a competitive person. I like winning anything that I do. You know, it's just, uh, I just, I always, always say, you know, it's just, it, it, it's going to happen. Things are going to happen, and uh, it's going to happen good for me, and I'm just, let's be patient and wait and see. There he is. Well liked. Lovely couple, Meg and Mike and his dad, and